Did you know that a woman's signature is really in her kiss? Oh yes, Vinyl Guru in the house. Here to talk to you today about why vinyl sucks. Yes, oh yes, the Vinyl Guru saying why vinyl sucks. I know, let's get into it. Vinyl Guru. Now, the first one is going to be somewhat of a fairly obvious one, as some people are better parents than others. <laughs> this is going to be the overall handling, care, and attention to your records. Yes, I'm talking about handling them, storing them, um, sleeving them up, baby. No glove, no love, as the wise men say. <laughs> as the abortion clinics say too. But anyway, no glove, no love, and the overall stacking and storing. This is going to showcase the overall quality and longevity of your records. Now, some people don't really care to care for all of them like this, but it is part of the cocktail. The next point I'm gonna make is that records are finite. Yes, you probably didn't expect me to say this, but it's true. Their quality is finite. Their premium quality playability is about 50 plays. About that. Now, you can, of course, prolong this through a high quality stylus, great turntable, great well-adjusted tone arm all of these little things can prolong this wear and decay stage but keep in mind that eventually everything fabulous does end dear something to think about when you're entering the world of vinyl which leads me on to my third point it's expensive yes the lifestyle is an expensive one you've got different kind of pressings, you've got limited edition stores, exclusives, you've got the equipment, but another thing you don't want to forget that a lot of people don't tell you about, oddly enough, is the equipment that it comes with for the overall prolonged long-term vinyl care. Oh yes, that's another video, but very important. Now my next point is gonna be somewhat an obvious one because of my background here, but it's space. Oh honey, space! I don't know if you could, I don't know if you can tell here honey, but it's utterly consumed me, okay? It has, but you have to keep this in mind. It's much bigger than books cassettes, CDs, this is a format that takes up a lot of space. Keep this in mind if it's something you're trying to get into, especially long term. Now, as much as you need space to adjust for this wild addiction, or else it'll consume you as it simply does me, you need to keep in mind that the temperature of the room has to be well adjusted to this as well. It needs to be closer to that cooler setting. Cooler to room temperature is best. And please keep in mind that you do not want any direct sunlight beaming at this room at any time. Yes, wear and decay, people. Wear and decay. Now, as much as you do want to make sure that your room is a bit like Dracula's bedroom, darling, cold and dark as the dead of night, you want to keep in mind that it is about the hunt, too. I'm talking you want the best audio sounding quality of that particular record. And sometimes there are so many variants and different pressings and different quality controls to each record. Yes, especially if they're big. If that artist is big, there's gonna be so many different variations and different hands in the pockets, my dear. 
Each hand spins and dips that cauldron a little bit differently. So you really have to do your research to ensure that you get the best out of your bang, out of your buck. Oh, oh, you can see. Okay, I was just trying to understand why you're not hitting that subscribe or that little notification bell, honey. Why? That being said, about perfect little recipes of each record, to find some holy grails of yours can take years. And with years comes patience. Patience. Patience, my dears. This is the art for the little lovers out there that endure the pain, that are enjoying the journey, yes, but realize that it is a journey. It is. It's one of those uh, 40 days fasting desert type of scenes. Yes, you will stay hungry for a long time before you feast upon the wonderful record you've been looking for. Now, if you aren't willing to endure that pain, you can always take the route of quick, high, life, Vegas, ka gambling moments, but you will be paying a premium for it. So, if you are a rabbit and not a turtle, this might not be that fun for you in that way. But, if you are willing to endure, ah, oh, honey, pick up a ticket, get in that line, enjoy the conversations, and uh, shoot it out. It's so warm, man, but I know it's so warm, yeah. It's warm in California. It's warm when you're drinking hot tea. Vinyl isn't that warm until you do the right things to procure that warmth that you feel in your soul, honey. Oh, warmth comes from killer stereo systems, amazing turntable setups, speakers, wire cables. I'm talking the works. Yes, this is a whole cocktail. It's not something that's a e quick two, three, easy bake oven, honey. And sometimes this can take you years to achieve that perfect sound, you know? Some people spend their whole life finding it, you know, they're never truly satisfied. But um, everybody has a different ear and therefore different preferences. So don't listen to everybody's opinion on what's right. Listen to what makes you feel right. But this is, of course, the fun of it. But it's not going to be that range, man, that warmth. You're not going to find that if you're playing it on your turntable that has those built-in speakers. It's not going to be that warm if you're, you know, just... You know, I'm not trying to be that condescending here, but you know what I'm trying to get at here. And I want it to be accessible to you. I want it to be palatable. I want more people to get into vinyl. I do. This is a true labor of love, a labor of love that we enjoy. And uh, that being said, I know I'm seeing this on a video that says why vinyl sucks. Trust me, I hear myself. I see it. I get it. But I want you to know that there is something deeper than just the hypnotic cycle spin alone oh yes it gets us in that hypnotic trance my dear to prance and dance my dear and there is something to be said about that oh honey way more fun than any wedding that i could go to now thank you for checking out what happens in the den la maison la vinyl guru and for next time, toodaloo, honey.